Hey, what's up everyone? This is Rakesh from motionstreet.com and welcome back to a brand new and exciting After Effects tutorial. In this video, we are going to create a wavy kind of typography animation using a bunch of simple inbuilt effects and that means you don't need any kind of third party plugins at all to create this. And I really like these kind of animations so much that I wanted to make a tutorial on this and share it with you guys because it looks super duper cool and trendy. Now it's time to see the preview. The concept of waves that you just saw may look very complex at the beginning but trust me it is way too easy to create. So yeah with that said let's quickly roll the intro and let's get started. Alright here we are in After Effects and as always we will start by creating a new composition and let's call this wave and let's go with the dimension of 1920 by 1080 which is full HD with 30 FPS and 10 seconds long with the background color as complete black. Now hit OK. The first thing is that we will grab our text tool and let's type in anything we want. So I'm typing this exact same text from the preview which is wave world and now select all of the letters and we will increase the font size to around 260 okay and i'm using the bolder version of bevasnoi font which is freely available on the internet or you can also download it from the link in the description right now let's align this into the center of our composition and also hold control or command on your keyboard and double click on this pan behind tool which will shift this anchor point right into the center of our text okay now Take the rectangle tool and we will make a rectangle like this and we will also align this into the center of our composition and then if you don't find any of these tabs at the right side of your screen you can always go to the window and en enable the tabs that you are looking for right now before we proceed any further let me tell you that if you want to follow along with this tutorial this project file is available to download from the link in the description so don't forget to check it out. Now we will select the layer and press enter to rename the layer and we will call it as effect because this layer will hold all of our effects right. Now select the layer again go to the effects ok I don't have it here so I can enable it from the windows and make sure this is checked. Now search for effect which is called set matte then double click to apply that effect. Now. In the drop down of take mat from layer we will simply provide our text layer and now we can hide our actual text like this and then you will see that the text is still visible because of the set mat that we have just applied right and this is how a set mat works. Now go to the effects and presets again and we will search for a new effect which is called transform and double click to apply that effect again and we will rotate this by 90 degree like this. Okay, now we will search for another effect which is called CC Repeat Tile. Double click to apply that and we will increase the amount amount to 2000, this one 2000 and 2000. Okay, now we will simply duplicate this effect, this transform effect I mean, just by pressing Ctrl or Command D on your keyboard and transform to will appear okay now open this effect and we will simply skew this by 16 and then skew axis should be 90 degrees and rotation I think I will go with minus 65 degrees okay and one more thing let's quickly go to this CC repair tile and we will set the tiling to break okay and then let's search for our final effect which is wave warp 
and then double click to apply that effect and now in the settings of wave warps we will increase the wave height to 30 and the wave width to 300 and the direction to 215 degrees right and the wave speed I'll go with 0 0.3 just a minimal number right now if in case you're wondering that how I came up with these values then the answer is quite simple I always play around with the settings so many times before making any video and that's what everyone does it is nothing but just all about the practice and practice right moving on if we take a look on what we have made so far then our waves would look something like this which is actually looking pretty good at the moment but it is still lacking something which will make it look more realistic and it is nothing but a shadow in the depths of waves right and we just need to sync it with the speed of the waves and that's all our animation of uh, wavy effects will be completed and now it's time to see how it will be done but before we start working with the shadows first we will reduce the space that we have all around our text just by clicking on the set pad effect and we will adjust the height and width to whatever we want like this and also the width of this rectangle like this and I think it is looking pretty good I think yeah there you go now let's start creating the shadows which will give a depth to our animation right so select the rectangle tool and first we will scale the preview down to 25% and we will simply draw a rectangle like this and I think I need to increase the height a little more okay now fit it to 100% and then select the layer hit R on our keyboard to bring up the rotation property and we will rotate it by 118 degrees like this and also we will change the color from the fill to black and from the effects and presets tab we will search in for effect which is called fast box blur and we will simply drag it onto the top of the layer and increase the blur radius to 40 and we will keep the other settings as it is okay now we will double click on this arrow and we will go to the add and let's add a repeater open the repeater one and we will increase the number of copies to let's say 15 and then open transform repeater one and we will simply position the number of copies something like this and I think minus one minus 486 is the sweet spot yeah and then we will simply drag this layer somewhere here this is the depth of the waves right and now just hit T on our keyboard to bring up the opacity and we will simply uh, decrease the opacity down to around 75% or so yeah and then hit P make sure the layer is selected and then hit P drop a keyframe on the position and let's go to around 10 seconds or so and we will simply move the shadows in the direction of our waves uh, just in the downward direction I think yeah and, and also before moving this first we will decrease the height of our shadow just a little like this and then then place it in the depths of the wave like this if you see yeah there you go and now it's time to see the preview right yeah this is actually looking pretty cool it is pre-rendering first of all and yeah this is what we were actually going for and if you want to keep the uh, no, uh, this shadows quite intense you can simply uh, hit T on our keyboard to bring up the opacity and we will increase the opacity just a little maybe increase to 80% like this and then let's play the animation and I think the animation is now almost ready to roll but if we take a closer look we will find that we have got some black weird spaces moving on all the edges of our animation right and it is there because of the effect that we have applied which is wave warp this this effect is ca causing this issue right 
So what we can do is we can fix it just by going to the composition and we will create a new composition, right? And let's call this render and let's keep the, uh, the duration to around just 10 seconds or so. Hit OK. Now go to the project window and we will simply drag in our waves composition like this and then hit S on our keyboard and increase the scale amount to around 105 percent and there you go the spaces we were talking about is now gone forever right now let me tell you something very cool about this animation now suppose if we want to change the text or update your text so how you can do it you can simply go to this waves composition and double click on this wave world and start typing anything you want so i'm typing typography you see the the text is reflecting the moment you are typing it okay now again if you want to change the text again just type creative wave and you know the text is reflecting at the very moment but then you may need to tweak the settings of your text and the effects that you apply to make it look more interesting and once you are done with the changes all of your changes will reflect in this composition right and your animation is now ready to be rendered right so for the sake of this tutorial let's go with the text we were working with which was wave world right and this was pretty much entire concept of how we can create this wave typography effect using only three layers but if you want to add your own creativity then the world is all yours inside after effects right so yeah, this marks the end of the tutorial and thank you so much for watching this video and I really hope you like this tutorial and learn something new. And if you really did, then make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you always get notified whenever a new video is uploaded. And if you are searching a template for your project, then check out our website and download the template that suits you the best. Lastly, don't forget to follow me as Motion Street on Instagram and I will see you in the next video. Till then, keep dreaming, keep creating. Peace out.